Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm making a macro tour for Warriors. Uh, I've looked on YouTube and I didn't see many I actually liked. So I'm making one. Hopefully it helps you guys. Uh, please uh, comment below uh, what you like, how you do different, everything. I appreciate it. Uh, first off, we're going to start with the basics. The basics, uh, we're just going to start with basic macros such as... Alright, first off, when you do macros, you obviously need to make your main macros. As in Heroic Strike, Colossal Smash, Mortal Strike... Um, all that stuff. You need to also put start attack in there. Um, this makes it very viable for two reasons. The first reason is obviously when you, you need to do a lot of hard switches as a warrior and you get rage starved very easily. Um, so when you do a hard switch and you're rage starved, it automatically starts attack on that person so you can generate rage. Um, the other reason is, for example, um, hunters play dead, freaking. Uh, everybody's got a way to make it where you lose your target so this is a way just to immediately start attack again you don't have to like click them or anything um, next off we're gonna go to the shadow macro um, if you're in tank mode whatever mode this is very needed so you can just immediately go back to arms shatter the bubble shatter the deep freeze whatever you need to do to get that target down um, sometimes this can win and lose you the game this next macro is a hamstring and when you shift modify piercing how this is very useful to uh, free up space on your uh, keybinds. Uh, I couldn't recommend it enough. Obviously it's not required, but it is very useful. The next three macros are Arena Run, Arena 2, and Arena 3 Focus. This way you don't have to manually click the enemy and focus them anymore. You can just click a button and they're focused, so you can easily switch your focuses. This is very needed and in the higher levels very viable. Alright, this next macro is the first burst macro. This is uh, consistent of recklessness, uh, a trinket if you have one as pretty much a human because you have uh, every man for himself, and pretty much all your cooldowns at once. Uh, this will rape someone very quickly, so if you want to down a target, this is the best way to do it. Um, I would only recommend using Rexstorm if there's more than two people in the area. That way you can get the most out of the sweeping strikes. Hey guys, this next macro consists of the Apparatus Cosgrass, which is a trinket, deadly calm, and whatever other burst trinket you have in case you're a human or whatever. Um, this is very also very viable. It's a burst that's up way more than recklessness every two minutes. Um, if you want down a target, if you time your shits correctly, you're, you're gold. Next, I'm going to show you an example why you need to pop your defensive cooldowns during certain moments. Here is a Shadow Priest completely raping me because I have no defensives. Now, here is the same Shadow Priest when I pop my shield wall and my spell reflect and everything else. Watch the damage mitigation. It's very big difference. You need to know when to pop this stuff. And spell reflect is your friend. Very viable. Very needed. Also notice, while I'm doing this, I spell reflect one of his DPS moves. Notice how it does 40k to him. There's a lot of casters that have hard hitting abilities. If you know when to spell reflect, you can even get an easy kill. A mage that has 20% health, he tries to shatter you, or he tries to just burst you, you can crit him for up to like 40 to 60k. No joke. It's it's amazing. It's very viable. You need to do that. Next we're looking at the disarm macro. This is very useful. Uh, you need this in case you need to get someone off you, uh, somebody else, or in case you just need to reduce damage. It's very viable. It's very needed. Just as is any other macro I keep talking about. Uh, the next is the next macro we're going to be looking at is Intervene. Um, this is very good in case you want to get in and out ping pong around in case some people are doing a lot of damage. You need to kite around. Um, think of Intervene not only as an ability to get away from targets, but an ability to get back on the targets. I can't recommend enough that you use this instead of your charge most times because sometimes you need to do a focus charge stun or other things to use your charge for. Um, if you're doing a melee cleave or if you notice one of your, your healer or your DPS is closer to the person, your target, just intervene to that person and then get back on the target. It's very, it's needed, it's good. This next one I'm going to show you is a focus charge fear and then it's going to follow up by a focus charge stun. Um, this is very viable because sometimes you're going to need to jump out, immediately CC a healer, another DPS to reduce damage, something. Um, and this can actually end up saving you or an uh, ally, or if you don't do it correctly, you're fucked. Alright guys, the very last macro I'm going to show you is a Spell Reflect macro. This macro is very useful. Um, it can, like I said before uh, about Spell Reflects, as you saw, 
you can win a game just by spell reflecting one ability. Casters hit hard. They hit you hard. If you spell reflect it, it hits them even harder. You need to do this. That was the end of my macro tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed this. Please like and fave if you enjoyed this. Also, um, tell your friends about this. I'm trying to get a bigger fan base. Uh, if it happens and it doesn't, it's all good. Uh, just trying to put out good content to you guys. Hope you enjoy. Y'all take care.